Williams just say good night. Hammer time inside. And those in blue rise to their feet. As Duke comes to the Yum Center and gets it done over the Cardinals 74 to 65. 57 to 43 is going to be the final score as the Blue Devils come on the road and suffocate the Irish. That'll do it. And Mike Krzyzewski is going to say goodbye to the Smith Center with a 20 point thrashing of the Tar Heels. 87 to 67, the final score. Bates Jones, football pass down court, Bank Hero a catch. This for the win. No. And the Blue Devils fall at home to Virginia. Well, during January, we're placed in two consecutive weekends where you have a Saturday game and a Monday game. You know, the first one, first weekend, both of them were on the road, which is very unusual, but it was a makeup game that was postponed with uh, Notre Dame, so it was put in there. And, uh, and then the second weekend at Carolina, road but close, and then Virginia at home. Uh, those quick turnarounds are, are difficult for every team, but it, it really simulates what you would have in March if you wanted to continue in the NCAA tournament. You got to win on a Thursday or Friday, then you have to win again on a Saturday or Sunday. So the experience of doing that is, is good if you make the tournament. You gotta make, make the tournament. The preparation for the second game is really more walkthrough. So you, you, don't, you don't get a chance to be as physical and you don't get as many reps. And so your mental preparation uh, and how you talk through it is, is really important. And so the listening factor has got to has got to be at the highest level. You know, overall, we won three out of the four. We, we were not, we did not play well against Virginia. And so we did not handle that coming out of Carolina into that Monday. And Virginia played really well against us. And we had a chance to still get the game at the end. And then we, we did not execute in the last minute and a half. And it was on us. I mean, it was there to happen, and we did not we did not make it happen. Clark with two, it's Beekman for three. Good, with seven tenths of a second to go. You have to learn how to win. There's no question about it. And you have to win together. And that's why the ability to talk and execute as a group is so, uh, is so very important. The other thing for our team, look, if we keep going, we're gonna be in the NCAA tournament. You still, we're st we still haven't earned that yet. A number of teams do not know if they're gonna be in. There's a certain amount of hunger that February creates in teams that you play against. And you know, Virginia showed that. Virginia is an outstanding program and a good team. They are incentivized and by playing us because we are a quad one team. And if you can beat a quad one team, it really adds to your resume. And so we are gonna get, it's not just what we've said over the years that we get people's best shots. We're really getting people's best shots. And we need to be unbelievably prepared and if you're able to take that shot and win, man, you can really grow during the month of February because you're gonna take someone's best shot in March. It's not just about winning a game. It's about getting tougher and taking, taking people's best shots and then you, you responding. And we did not respond uh, against Virginia. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G. By Continental Tire, proud supporter of Duke Blue Devils basketball. And by Coke Zero Sugar, best Coke ever. You're made to move. And now it's time to get things done. You're in the driver's seat chasing green lights and open roads. And you know those roads like the back of your hand. 
You're shaped by where you've been, but you're always looking forward with confidence. Continental Tire, for what you do. Heart-stopping moments deserve heartfelt jewelry from Reeves. Our exclusive Love's Path collection features paths of gold merging around a center diamond, symbolic of how two lives join together to find adventure, understanding, and love. Our exclusive Roberta Z collection is a reflection of our founder, Roberta Zimmer, and mirrors the qualities we admire in the women around us. With Reed's exclusive jewelry collections, we have the perfect gift for each moment and milestone. In the Carolinas, true blue means unwavering loyalty and commitment. To earn this level of trust, Ford builds the trucks and SUVs that help keep you in command when you're on the road. And in return, America has shown its loyalty. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Discover what true blue means to you. Now get 0 for 60 plus up to 1500 bonus cash on select 2021 Ford vehicles. Learn more at buyfordnow.com and custom order yours today. Come over here. I'm coming over high hands as well. Yeah, yeah, I can be right there, right there. Be strong. All right, boom, boom, boom. I'm right here. High hands. Don't reach. You reach. It's a foul on you. Don't wait for it. Go get it. We're very fortunate to have uh, Chris Carrawell as one of our associate head coaches. And uh, uh, you know, when he played here, he was really Atlanta Coast Conference Player of the Year. But uh, He's also a very smart player, and he had he has great people skills. He can really communicate. And his time here, uh, then at Marquette, working for Wojo, and then coming back, he's really learned how to coach the game. Uh, he has all the feel uh, for people, the game, and whatever, but that doesn't mean you're going to be a good coach. But if you learn how to use those things in coaching, and he has, then you become an outstanding coach. And that's who Chris Carrawell is uh, right now. I think a, a lot of it has to do with the fact that he's a great father. You know, his, his, one of his sons is playing for Nate James at Austin P. Another one, a, a youngster uh, you know, here in Durham, and uh, he, he knows how, you know, he can relate. He, he can relate, and he can give that fatherly ap approach uh, to the guys that he's coaching. Turner, that time Brand blocking his path, and it comes off to Avery. Carowell, first man up the floor for Duke. Great job of finalizing. It's nothing better, nothing better. You know, I've coached in the D-League for three years, and I coached at Marquette. Marquette was a great, great university, great brand, but it's nothing like coaching for the school you play for, man. For the school you play for, that name in the front, um, it means more. It means more. It means more because you've been in those positions, uh, the ups and downs. So for guys, you know, not doing well, had a couple bad games, you know what, what that has felt like. Guys doing good now. Okay, yeah, you're playing well. Now you got to keep them, got to keep them hungry. But uh, you can relate because um, we're playing for the same coach that has coached us and been here for 42 years. But it's, it's really an honor. Coach K can have anybody on his staff, anybody the best of the best on his staff, but to have his former players and uh, on his staff and to have me be a player and not a coach, man, that's a, that's a, that doesn't happen. I, I, I'm truly, truly honored and it's special. It's a privilege. A lot of things go, go into being a head coach. You know, you had to worry about your guys, but it's so much, so many other things, so many other aspects to, to running a company, really running a company. And he's, uh, I, his, his organization, and uh, his passion. 
this past man, this guy's 74, be 75 soon. Like, the energy that goes into it. Man, he's relentless, man. I, I have to respect that. You know, I tell him all the time, get some, okay, get some rest. You know, you can take it, he, he, he won't, he won't. And that's a great thing. <laughs> It can, you know, sometimes, but it can, you know, he can get, but he, he gives it to you, man. He brings it. And uh, to watch that, I know if I'm uh, fortunate enough to get the opportunity to run a program, I, I, I want to I wanna have that, man. You know, you know you're not going to do everything like coach. Of course, you're going to be your own guy, but some of those, some of the quality, qualities he has, whew, they're off the charts, man, off the charts. Coach K's Legacy Moments. Five seconds to Hunt. Anderson Hunt stops, fires a three. No! It's off the mark! It's over! The Blue Devils have pulled off the biggest upset in the history of Duke basketball. They have beaten the number one UNLV running Rebels. Coaching in the Final Four for the fifth time in six years, Coach K guided the 1991 Blue Devils to one of the biggest upsets in NCAA tournament history when Duke topped undefeated defending national champion UNLV in the semifinals. The victory propelled the Blue Devils to the NCAA title game, where they defeated Kansas for the program's first long-awaited national crown. Three, two, Jordan, let's fly. It is over. The Destiny Darlings have done it. The Duke Blue Devils have won their first ever national basketball championship. Well, in order to have multiple, you have to have the first. Yeah, we had our first ACC championship in 1986, and then we've had a lot, regular season and, and tournament. The national championship is the elusive, it, it's, the allure, it's the, it's the best. And only one team gets it. And we were close. We had gone to Final Fours, and the closest we were was in 86. In 88, 89, and 90, we were there, but we were not the best team. But in 91, we were as good as, as anybody, although everyone thought Vegas was the best one. And we were able to go over the hump, which I call rationalization. You're happy about being in the Final Four, and you win that game. You know, you, you beat Vegas, and everyone's like crazy. But then in order to close the deal, and this was to me the, one of the biggest games I've ever been a part of, was beating Kansas for our first national championship because they are really good, but it came after, it came after one of the biggest wins of all time against Vegas. To have that type of mental toughness is what I talk about now, about winning on Saturday and about winning on Monday in the regular season. It's the same thing at the ultimate level, and that's why the first one was, was as good as they, they can get. I know the car accident wasn't technically your fault. But we, as the insurance company, deny this claim. We might fix your car. But medical bills? Pain and suffering? Lost wages? You're asking for a lot. Oh, you've got a lawyer. This conversation is over. <laughs> Tell the insurance company you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. It's bow time. If the work day's over, but your family's hunger is gearing up for the night shift, drop a big bow box on it. Because with 12 Supremes, biscuits, fixings, and tea, you can clock out and still enjoy a delicious dinner. It's bow time. Heart-stopping moments deserve heartfelt jewelry from Reeves. Our exclusive Love's Path collection features paths of gold merging around a center diamond, symbolic of how two lives join together to find adventure, understanding, and love. Our exclusive Roberta Z collection is a reflection of our founder, Roberta Zimmer, and mirrors the qualities we admire in the women around us. With Reed's exclusive jewelry collections, we have the perfect gift for each moment and milestone.
It's bow time. If the workday's over, but your family's hunger is gearing up for the night shift, drop a big bow box on it. Because with 12 Supremes, biscuits, fixings, and tea, you can clock out and still enjoy a delicious dinner. It's bow time. I'm Scott Walker. I graduated from Duke in 1994 and I had a crazy idea that it would be fun to build Cameron Indoor Stadium out of Lego and give it to Duke. I've been coming to K Academy for, this is my 14th year. In the fall of 2020, I started this, this project. And when I was thinking of, you know, I, I wanted to build something, when I was thinking of what to build, uh, Cameron kind of came to mind because it was my, it's my favorite structure at my alma mater, and and I love coming here for uh, K Academy, and so it just it checks a lot of boxes for me. I love basketball, I love Duke, uh, uh, I'm I'm a fan of Lego, and so all these things together just seem like a really uh, a lot of great synergy. Started by sketching some stuff and putting some pieces together, and the first thing I actually built was a basket to see can I make a basket? How big would it be? And then once you knew that, you build a court and, and you just kind of expanded from there. It was a lot harder than I expected it to be. I, I have not built anything out of Lego uh, for really 35 years. It's my favorite toy when I was a kid. I modeled the entire project uh, in software called stud.io. Uh, that's a Lego uh, digital design uh, package. And one of the great things about that is at the end, you press a button that tells you every single piece that you've used. So you know that, that's how I was able to know at the end that you know, it was over 15,000 pieces. The entire time I was working on this project, I knew I was going to bring it to Duke. It'd be nice to have it sitting on my coffee table at home, but I always thought it'd be even more special to have it here. Coach K and the program have given so much to me, it was fun to, to imagine giving something um, back to them. When Coach K walked in and, and we did the reveal and showed him, I mean, I was uh, delighted to see his reaction. And I think the first words he said was, this is amazing. And, and that was, you know, just what I had hoped that, that, you know, he'd say, I thought it was possible. He might say, you know, what the hell are you doing with your time, Walker? This is, you know, crazy. But, uh, but he, didn't, he didn't do that. Uh, he was, he was uh, very excited about it. And, uh, you know, that moment was something that really, was in my mind the whole time I was building a project was, you know, when I'd run into a roadblock or an obstacle and, and get stuck, I'd be like, you know, it, one of the motivating factors was this would be really fun to, to reveal the coach and, and that, uh, that proved to be true. Well, I was shocked when Scott, Wa Scott Walker is a great guy. He's been at our, uh, our fantasy camp, the K Academy for I think 14 or 15 years. And, uh, uh, he had let us know that there was a surprise that he did during COVID. It came in one piece, which was crazy, or it may show that how strong Legos actually are. And then he did a presentation of it for us, and it's spectacular. I mean, it's obviously one of a kind, and the attention to detail is, is tremendous. So uh, we're going to display it, and uh, uh, we're really thankful that Scott did that for us. Shortly after first viewing it, I mean, one of the first things Coach K said was like, well, we need to put this on display. Uh, and the fact that they're going to put it in the lobby of Cameron, I mean, I, I could not have, I didn't even dream of that. So that, that is an unbelievable outcome, um, super gratifying, and it makes the whole project like worth it. Um, it was kind of a crazy uh, scheme, um, and I remember when I called and talked to Debbie about um, what I've done and, and, and revealed this, like she was super receptive. Having it uh, get that reception and, and, and to become a part of the building that it, uh, the model honors is just, uh, it's amazing. When I made the rafters, uh, I hung one banner with a sticker on it, and it's uh, a retired jersey of me. Um, and obviously I've done nothing as a player to warrant that, but, but in the world of the model, I'm, 
I'm kind of the, the top dog. So I gave myself uh, a, the only retired jersey, and uh, it's a fun little Easter egg in the, in the top of the rafters. It's bow time. If the workday's over, but your family's hunger is gearing up for the night shift, drop a big bow box on it. Because with 12 Supremes, biscuits, fixings, and tea, you can clock out and still enjoy a delicious dinner. It's bow time. You're made to move. And now it's time to get things done. You're in the driver's seat, chasing green lights and open roads. And you know those roads like the back of your hand. You're shaped by where you've been, but you're always looking forward with confidence. Continental Tire, for what you do. In the Carolinas, true blue means unwavering loyalty and commitment. To earn this level of trust, Ford builds the trucks and SUVs that help keep you in command when you're on the road. And in return, America has shown its loyalty. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Discover what true blue means to you. Now get zero for 60 plus up to 1500 bonus cash on select 2021 Ford vehicles. Learn more at buyfordnow.com and custom order yours today. It's bow time. If the workday's over, but your family's hunger is gearing up for the night shift, drop a big bow box on it. Because with 12 Supremes, biscuits, fixings, and tea, you can clock out and still enjoy a delicious dinner. It's bow time. Duke Basketball 360 with Chris Spatola. Presented by Continental Tire. Proud supporter of Duke Blue Devils basketball. Mark Williams is one of the more unique players, not just in the ACC, but in the country, you know, we know his measurables, you know, about seven feet tall, really bouncy, long, athletic. You're going to make a lot of plays just being that size. But one of the things that impresses me the most is his motor. You know, he's, he plays hard. It's a guy, you know, where you're going to make a lot of plays because you're big. You're going to rebound a lot, block some shots just because of how big you are. But when you play hard and you play with a motor, you start to make plays outside of your area. The defense is there, but where he's really starting to make an impact is on the offensive end. He's a really good lob catcher. And in this day and age in college basketball, where everybody's going to that ball screen action, that drag action at the top of the key, when you have a big who can rim run, get to the front of the rim and guys can throw him lobs, it makes such an impact. It's such a weapon. It puts such pressure on the defense. You know, Mark Williams, a guy who I think at times physicality has bothered him. You go back early in the season, game one, Oscar Shibwe. I think his physicality bothered Mark Williams. Zeb Key and that loss to Ohio State. I think in the second half in particular, Zeb Key's physicality bothered Mark Williams. I think Williams is starting to become more comfortable with that. That was a hurdle he had to cross, and it's a hurdle he is now crossing. Duke starting to throw the ball to him on the block a little bit more, and he's going to finish. I said at the beginning of the year, one of Duke's, you know, how good Duke could be was tied to how good Mark Williams would end up being by the end of the year. We're starting to see that growth. And really, in games where Mark Williams has played well, Duke has won those games. He's got to continue to grow. He's got to continue to become, I think, better on that offensive end. But he's becoming a guy that Coach K and that Duke staff can start to really rely on consistently. Missed the shot short and the rebound for Joey Baker. Good defense by Baker. Roach, an outlet for Williams behind the defense to Tunkatown. Here's Morcell, nearly tapped loose by Keels. Oh, volleyballed out of there by Williams. That was a spike more than a block. <laughs> One dribble to the left and a handoff for Jeremy Roach. Now inside, Williams has it. Hammer time. Timeout in C-State. On the top, looking to drive on the left side and on four. Blocked by Williams. And now Keels.
Fields leads the break. Three on three, a bounce pass to Griffin. Driving it off the left, off the window, no. Tap follow good for Fields. I like the fact that he wants to go get block shots. I mean, you got to think about it. You, we think about the, the, the block shots, but how many times when you come to the basket, he's alter shots. Or if I'm a guard coming into the paint, I'm, I'm looking like, where is he at? Where is he at? That plays into your head. And so he's done an excellent job. I mean, eight block shots, man, you, you're playing. If you can get eight block shots in a single game, that's remarkable. You know, it's, it's always good to see a player who puts in the work and they start to, you know, you start to see that work pay off. And Mark's done a, a heck of a job of, Really on the defensive end, guarding pick and rolls. Like you, we ask bigs to do a lot. Bigs have to guard pick and rolls. They got to protect the basket. They got defensive rebound, right? They got to protect the paint. All these things, and then, um, and then you know, go down and on the offensive end and produce as well. And he's done a, 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 a excellent job on both ends of the floor. I'm just happy to see his development. North Carolina seemed to have all the momentum going to the locker room as they trimmed it to 11. But what a start here in the second half that continues with a thunder dunk from Mark Williams. You know, I don't know if there's momentum for the for the season. I, I you know, I that's too long. <laughs> you know, you know, momentum is more. Mo the reason it's called momentum, it's momentary. <laughs> it's not forever. And so there'll be street in, in a game. You have momentum. You know, you go on a run. And then all of a sudden, the other team goes, oh, you lost momentum. You know, but when you, when you do have it, you need to build on it and take advantage of it for as long as possible. You can be as ready to play it as can be, and the other guy can be better, can be better that night. But you have to be your best each night. That's the thing you have control over. You do not have control over how the other team reacts to you. You know, and if they react really hard, you should up it. It should force you to find something that makes you go deeper. And it's called be being a mature team and uh, getting that maturity. This group is a, is, is a young team. It's going through this for the first time. And you know, it, look, it happens a lot. And what we do with it will determine just how successful we are in the season. And uh, you got to make the most out of every situation that you've just been placed in.